to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing a card featuring the Flower Lace One Dye, uh, the Silk Microfine Glitter and the Distress Oxide Inks. So what I did already, I die cut the Flower Lace Dye out of the cardstock, the soft finish cardstock that I colored with the Distress Oxides. And I used a piece of release sheet from the tape in there as well because it just makes it easier to get the, the design out of the die. So I'm going to use my fine pointed tweezer and just take it out. And then I can use, well this one actually comes out really nicely uh, because I use that, most of the time I use that die brush tool because it makes it really easy to get the parts out of the die. And I also use that to clean up my dies of course. And I have that mat here in a little box, you see, so that, because this one has a lot of small parts. You see, so this comes out, oh this can actually be a really nice card by itself. So that, that tool makes it really easy to get all your parts out and I have my mat here in a plastic box, which just when I travel that I don't make the mess everywhere. So I'm going to put that aside. So now I have here, I have my Flower lace, I see a few pieces that are left that I still need to poke out. And the fine pointed tweezer works really well for that. So let's check because when I glue it on later, I cannot take the small parts out anymore. So I need to make sure my, uh, my design is clean and ready to go. So check that, always check it well. So that's this one. And then this is, so this is basically, you see the part that I got it. So now I can put this back, but I don't want that because I want to use this one in another design. So you see I can put the white one in here if I want to. I can put this one in here. So let's see what I like best. That is a really pretty one as well. So you can basically play with all those parts because here I have another one that I die cut. You see so different colors. So, so much fun to combine and to play with. So I will finish this one for now and the other ones are ready to go for another card. So what I have here, I have here my card base from White Soft Finish. Then I have a piece of double sided adhesive that I cut out of the sheets and I have my design here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around. Let's make sure this is clean. I'm going to take this off. So get the tape going. And what I will do, because I see some parts on my mats, I'm going to make sure that I don't get any parts on my tape. So I'm going to put that release sheet underneath here. Then I'm going to stick this on here and I made that tape a little bit smaller than the cardstock because it's just easier to line it up. Then I turn it around. Now I can take this off and make sure when you use the brown part because one side has paper and one side is non-stick. So make sure you use the non-stick side because otherwise you would not get it off anymore. And now I have my design here and I'm just going to lay that in because now this is sticky of course. So I'm just going to fit that in here and start at the top and just kind of place that in that opening. And then I'm going to take that release sheet again. Again, watch that you take the non-stick part, press this down. And now I'm going to bring in my glitter tray and I'm going to use in this case the warm diamonds because now all the open spaces are now still sticky. And of course you can use a color as well but I just love with this one I like the diamonds. So sprinkle that in there, brush it off. Look how pretty that is. And the design is just gorgeous. And then polish this one as well because then you see it sparkle. And then I'm going to take the base of my card. I'm going to take my double-sided adhesive, my release sheet off. And then I'm going to line this up. And I can do it either way. Here we go. And that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And you can add a, uh, you know, you can add a verse if you want to, but I think it's just beautiful as it is. So thank you for watching. 
I've suggested a couple of videos I think you'll enjoy and don't forget to download the project sheet. See you again next time.